Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel and today we are looking at another mentalism utility that is extremely popular. It's a peak as you know from the title for those of you that already own this but for those of you that don't this is one of the most popular and the most worked around peaks in mentalism and that is Acidus Novus by Millard Longman uh, explained to you by Richard Osterlin and put out by Penguin Magic. This is, I think, a must-have knowledge in any mentalist in, rep in any mentalist repertoire. Even if you end up using it or you have other, you know, peaks that you prefer, I think still knowing how this works and knowing the baseline behind this is very important and very good, which is why I'm making a review for it today. Let's roll the intro and get straight into it. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about Acidus Novus. So what is Acidus Novus? Acidus Novus is a billet peak in the simplest form. So that's what you're learning here. So what you're gonna do is essentially during your show or anything, you present this piece of, you piece of paper to someone, it has information, like for example, this one, uh, write your chosen word, you give this to someone, they write their chosen word, they're then gonna proceed to fold it and then you tell them, can you see anything in the light based on this, right? They're probably, and normally gonna say no. And then you tell them, can you see anything in this envelope right here? No, perfect, let's take this and place it inside of the envelope. Can you seal this together? And can you see the writing or anything? No, perfect, keep this in your pocket, we're gonna get to that later. And in this sequence, I have essentially peaked the information that needs peaking, and I'm good to go. Whenever I want to reveal it, I can reveal the information sealed inside of this envelope. So knowing now what Acidus Novus looks like, even though normally it's not done with the envelope, but kudos to Alexander Marsh and his Billet Masterclass for showing this idea of putting it in, in an envelope to justify your peaks. If you're interested in that, I could do a review on the Billet Masterclass, but normally this is just done in the simple way while you're talking to someone, you're gonna do and execute the peak. So for example, I'm as I'm talking right now, I'm like, look, I'm gonna try and focus on who, who was it? It was your word, right? And then as you do that, you have the peak or you can place this in your in their hand or anything. You can, there's different ways to justify taking the peak of the information, but that's essentially what Acidus Novus is. So now that you know what this is, where do you buy this, how much does it cost, and what do you get? So you can get this directly from Penguin Magic. It is a download for $9.99, which is essentially 15 Canadian dollars. And what you get is an instructional video that has a live performance which with Richard Osterlin and then moves into the studio to show you one, how to prepare your cards, why they're prepared like this, how to justify the move and how to do the move and how everything works. Everything is really well explained. In the tutorial, you're gonna get all the information that you need and the tutorial doesn't run that long. I think it's around 30-ish minutes long. It's relatively short, but it is to the point. So now that you know what this is, how much does it cost and what do you get, how difficult it is to do. So first with Acidus Novus, you're gonna to have to prepare your billets, which take around, once you know how to do it, maybe 10, 15 seconds. So yes, you, you can pre-write this and have it already ready for your spectator, which is the way that I prefer. But if you want in the heat of the moment, you can also just prepare this on the spot really quickly, fold it up and tell them, look, I want you to, uh, do this and then just fold it up and you're good to go, right? So you can do it like that as well. You can do it in the heat of the moment, but if you want, I think it's much safer. If you're doing this in a show and you know you're gonna use this in a show, then you can just prepare your card and already have it ready for when your spectator um, is doing it instead of writing it on the spot. But essentially, in terms of executing it and doing it, it will take a bit of practice because you do wanna, when you take it, and you wanna justify it, you don't wanna do something like this, right? Or you don't wanna do something fishy where you're like hiding it from view. You wanna be very clean, just like this, as you talk and you say, look, um, who who has the envelope or who's doing this? And right now I'm taking the peak in full view. As I'm talking, I'm like, okay, um, how about you hold this in your hand, right? So you wanna practice this to have it down, to make sure you know how it works, to have it, you know, operate closely because you don't want this to be fishy. So you don't want this, as I said, to something like this where you use two hands or something where you're like, oh, and you hide it from view or you go down at your pants or anything like that. You just want to take it, show it just like this. And as you're just talking to the specters and you're just gesticulating, you're like, okay, um, 
who can help me for this? How about you? I'm like taking the peak, I'm done, and I'm moving forward, okay? So that is something that's important to know. So difficulty-wise, it is not very difficult, it is relatively easy, but it will require practice and real-world practice because maybe you're gonna think you're doing it right and maybe you're gonna get caught while actually doing it in real life. So it will require some practice in both senses. Moving on now to practicality. So how practical is this? This is extremely practical. You don't need anything. You can, as I said, you can do this even impromptu as long as you have a pen and a billet shaped piece of paper like this in a rectangle, you will be able to do the routine without any issue. So it, practicality wise, carrying capacity, it is a one. In terms of inspectability, this can be fully inspected. It is not gimmicked in any way, shape or form. So this can be kept by the spectator forever. In terms of angles, this can be done pretty much 360. I think that even if you know how this works, uh, right now I just got the peak and I can I feel that I could justify having this at a 360 angle and doing what I'm doing at a 360 angle. So I feel you can do it, but if you want to be safe, 270, 180 is better. In terms of reset, there is no reset. In terms of table space, you do not need any table space for this uh, at all as well. Now let's talk about where you perform. So where can you perform Acidus Novus? Acidus Novus is something that you're going to perform anywhere with real life spectators. So this is something you can do if there's loud volume because the instruction is written here. So even if they don't hear everything, you can just say to them, look, write a word here, write, write a word. Then you give it to them and then you can write it. You can even place it in the envelope, which is one thing that I like. And then since these envelopes are so cheap, I take the envelope and that's what I use to write my actual prediction. I say, what did you think about elephant? Look at what I wrote. And then you tell them, look, you can keep this with you. So even if there's noise, you can do this. So this is something that can happen. Street, walk around, casual. You can even use this in stage parlor. Richard uses this in his parlor-ish cabaret show. Even in the performance, he uses this in front of an audience of like 50-ish people. So this can work anywhere, as long as you have physical spectators. So this is not something that's going to work virtually or anything like that. So now that you know everything that you need to know about Acidus Novus, let's talk about the positives and negatives. So first, let's start out with the negatives. Acidus Novus is a very classical peak, which means that the method is very, very bare bones, which also means that it's a method that has been developed and worked on furthermore, which means that there are peaks that use the similar principle of Acidus Novus, but they use it better. For example, in Alexander's Marsh uh, Billet Masterclass, he uses the Acidus Novus peak, but he changed a bit of the workings. And in my opinion, it is 10 times better. It is so much better than this, but it is still the same principle, but it uses something extra and a different move and a different approach to it which is something to keep in mind. Yes, this is great and it's gonna be a great starting point for you and then you can build upon it. But if you just want the newest, trendiest version of Acidus Novus, you're gonna to have to do your research and look at that. But still, it's not deterring from the actual product because as I said, this is one of the most used and one of the most famous methods. But it is one that you're gonna, in my opinion, easily replace as you move on. So this is not something that's gonna last you an incredibly long time in your journey of mentalism, but it is something that you're always gonna be able to rely on and come back to in case you need something super quick. Now moving on to the positives. One, it is relatively easy to do. It's something that you're gonna have with you forever if you decide to keep it. Even if you decide to switch it out with something else, the knowledge behind this peak will be very useful to you. The practice behind it is good. The fact that you're gonna be able to do this impromptu is good. The fact that you can do this anywhere, anytime is great. The fact that it's inspectable, it doesn't use any gimmicks, it can be done at any point in time is also all major positives of this effect. So having said all of this, would I recommend Acidus Novus and what do I give it on 10? I feel that if you've already been in mentalism for quite some time, you already own Acidus Novus. So of course I recommend it because you already have it. If you're new in mentalism, I also recommend you getting this. And if you're even intermediate or, you know, kind of navigating through mentalism, I think that knowing the knowledge behind the Acidus Novus peak is still of use, even if you have better peaks and better ways of peaking folded information. I still think this is very much worth its while and a purchase. So what am I giving it out of 10? I'm giving it Acidus Novus an 8.75 on 10. It is not something that I use often, but I do use variations of it and I still think that merit something and it is a good video. It is for the price, something that you're gonna, it is valuable information for any mentalist out there. So I still think that it is very good. 
So having said all of this, I want to thank everyone for watching, liking, and subscribing. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If not, I'll see you all in my next review. Have a good one, and bye-bye.